Hey YouTube, Network Waste Kid here and today's video we're going to take a look at how to upgrade a Cisco wireless LAN controller. So in this demonstration I have a 5500 series, so 5508 and we're going to upgrade it to a newer version. To do this, if you're following along, you do need access to your wireless LAN controller. You will need a TFTP server, probably the easiest, and you will need the uh, software that you're going to be upgrading to. So, once logged into your GUI, navigate to commands and then download file. So, we're going to download a file to the controller. File type is going to be code. And then IP address is your IP address of your TFTP server or your server. You can specify TFTP or FTP. You can leave the retries and timeout at the default settings. I am using 10 and 6 seconds. And the file name is the file name of the software that you're upgrading to so that'll be the actual file name so as you can see here this is my file name simply copied into here and file path I will leave the file path because this is already specified in my TFTP server so once you're happy with your settings go ahead and press download confirm that you want to initiate the code download and then it should begin. So you can see there TFTP code transfer starting and we can see that we've got a TFTP connection with a GET request from our wireless LAN controller. So this will now go ahead and download that file. As you can see the file path has been specified for me so I don't need to do that. I just specified the file name load will begin or your download rather and your device will be upgraded accordingly while the wireless LAN controller is getting the file and upgrading you can stay on the screen to see the progress of the upgrade once the upgrade is finished you will be able to see a file transfer successful and the controller will reboot to update and complete the installation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel simply by pressing subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that I upload, then please go ahead and press the notifications bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video.